we're getting ready to seed this area, but we don't want to grow a lawn and then have to come through and rip it up to put conduit and a PVC pipe for sewer, etc., in here. So we're taking this opportunity to put as many of the penetrations through this area of the lawn as possible before we seed. One such penetration is two inch electrical conduit for our solar. Way back when, we put this penetration about two foot below the surface, and we just excavated it. I nicked the end very slightly, but got a Sawzall in there and cut it off, and it looks pretty clean. We're gonna be running this guy straight this way out through the woods and eventually go all the way down to the field for solar. We're not gonna run all the way now. We're just running enough to get through the lawn area, and then we'll put a stake in the ground and mark it for later. I took the heat gun to this thing and put a couple subtle bends in it just to straighten out that pipe and give a fairly simple path through the trees here. Uh, let's get up in the tractor and make some progress. About one foot down, we put some tape that just says electrical line. If anyone in the future ever happens to dig here, they'll hit that tape well before they hit the conduit. And if they get a metal detector back here, they can plot out exactly where that conduit is. Down here, I stuck a piece of rebar in there with a cap on it uh, just to mark that spot. I'm not sure when we're gonna get to the solar. I'd hoped to do it this summer, um, but summer is waning and who knows when we'll get to it now. We also removed a lot of understory trees as well as just popple and other sucker saplings. This is the view coming down from the field down our two track. I took out a lot of saplings, my goodness. I bet I cut down 150 saplings all through this area. I, I like it. It looks, I'm not gonna say park-like, but it definitely looks more manicured. I think that's a good start. See how long this takes to sprout. I'll come out here a couple times a day and keep it damp and hopefully we get some good purchase between the seeds and the dirt. This is our sewer pipe. We're using three inch schedule 40 solid core PVC. I put a clean out on it and just stuck a pipe up higher than it needs to be. We'll trim it off later. But if we ever do need to clean out either towards the septic tank there or back towards the barn here, I'd much rather see that happen outside than inside. I did about a two inch drop per 10 feet. So that's slightly over 3 16 but not quite a quarter. And because we have a fairly nice grade coming out of this barn here, we're actually getting pretty close to the surface over there, which is actually good. Yeah, over here, we're only about 14 or 15 inches below grade. That's fantastic. And the reason that's fantastic is because our septic permit has a max depth of the drain field at 30 inches. That only gives us another 15 or so inches to work with 
There's a two inch drop from the input to the output of the tank and then 40 feet or so of drain field that will have a slight gradient as well. I've been stomping around in here, making sure that the pipe is pretty well set in the location that it's at. With it set, I'm ready to jump back on the tractor and start backfilling. We are finally done. Everything is seated. We got the tractor and the grapple going and pulled all the saplings that we cut out of here. And they're all down the field in the big brush pile. With all this stuff done, we are ready to move on to the next project. We just got our gutter guards. These are Viking stainless steel mesh gutter guards for six inch gutters. And we're hoping to install them today. The gutter guards require that you do a custom bend, but it's super simple to bend. We created a jig with XPS foam that's five inches wide and just rolled the end of it on that five inch jig. It snaps in pretty perfectly. We're going to be doing three sheet metal screws on this lip per four foot section. And we'll probably put a screw or two in the back here just to peg it in place. Yeah, so as you can see, we've got the top lip here um, butted all the way to the roof line. And the front lip snaps pretty nicely on the edge of that gutter. Uh, then we put in our three screws on the front and our one screw up top. And that holds it really nice. 